everyone, it's me, Cube83. And Barbie0913. And we have a collection close up for you today. It's all of our Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, so we have quite a few to show you. Not as many as you'd think, seeing the brand's been out forever. No. But and we do have quite a few. Um, so Cabbage Patch Kids, obviously, you know, was a huge deal. It was, um... Stampedes at the door! Yeah, fist fights. People. I was here first. No, you were here first. No, I was here first. I was here first. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's. It was crazy. It was like pandemonium. My mom <laughs> stayed away from that. She didn't go and and try to do any of that. <laughs> My uncle, however, did. <laughs> I can't imagine. I kind of wish I could have stood there and watched these people as they kind of did like the whole Black Friday, Thanksgiving Day kind of rush to yep. get a Cabbage Patch, um, which I think is really cool. So, Cabbage Patch Kids came out in like 1982 by Coleco. They were inspired by Xavier Roberts, um, Creations, Little People, and then Babyland General. Mm -hmm. And then Coleco uh, bought the, the license to produce the brand, and we have 30 years of history, 30 plus yep. years of history. So these are all Coleco made Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, Which your dad, you, your dad took an extra job so that he could afford to buy you this girl. Yes. When you were a baby. So this one, and plus so he could buy it, right? Because if you work at a store and then get them, then you could just take them. He worked at an Osco, <laughs> and Osco did get them in, so yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he worked at Osco, so he was able to get one right there when it came in. Which is awesome. I love my daddy. <laughs> I love my mom. It took the whole paycheck at those <laughs> The times. whole paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Which is crazy. Um, but I, this is Elizabeth Ann. She uh, as a, was my first Cabbage Patch kid. Uh, I probably got it around, like, I was probably, what, a year? Yeah. So 1984-ish sometime in there. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Elizabeth Ann. She... I didn't know this, but Cabbage Patch Kids apparently have different head molds. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, like, because I didn't have a ton of them, it didn't occur to me. No. But she's a three, I think. I think I she's a three. I didn't know they either. <laughs> it says on the back, there's all this writing on the back of her head, which I've never actually thought to look at until last week. So, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. Um, so this was made also, another fun fact, is their tag will say what factory they came out of. So this says OK in a circle here. Some will say like SS or other different variations, but this is OK, so it's a different factory. There were various factories that made them. Mm. So, uh, and they all have their own different characteristics that they came out of certain factories. So this one is known for being like big and huggable and having like chunky uh, legs and chunky arms and that sort of thing. So fun fact, if you have a bunch of cabbage patches, see if you have any that are from different factories and it'll say on the tag. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. So that's Elizabeth Ann. Um, Who wasn't wearing that? No, she has a different outfit. This yeah. is her brownie outfit. Yes. So this guy is the World Tour Russia Cabbage Patch Kid. He wears a very Russian inspired outfit. Came with a t-shirt. Came with a bunch of stuff like a passport and a t-shirt. Came with a hat. Um, I don't know. He must have come with shoes, like boots, too, but... I think he did. They are not on him at the moment. So, super cute guy. He's, uh, super skinny, though, because his pants, like, went into him, like... Oh. Like, he has an indentation in his stomach. But the elastic is still fine on his pants. There you go. Which is rare amongst the stable. To everybody else, they lost theirs. And this would have been a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. Mm-hmm. So the majority of this line right here is made up of kusas. This I love mine. kusas. Kusas are definitely unique, uh, and they are super cute. So there's Nikki Dog and Fingo, uh, and they came with collars, and you could put your like their name and where they're you're from on the collar, you know, identification. So in case you lost them, they can mm -hmm. find their way home. And then yours. And these two are mine. I like the Kusas much better than the regular dolls. They're my favorite, unless they're the really big girls. Um, this one was mint in a box. He has a little indentation in his plastic. I think it was a factory issue, but he's still, he's, I, he's the cat. You know, he reminds me of the cat. And then this one I got at King County, just uh, the last King County show, and was um, brand new in a box. The only thing weird about this one is his, he's got fur on his body and his legs. It's not the um, the knit 
So it's kind of weird. It's a different feeling. And so then in this front row here, we have all the babies. We have the preemies. So we have this one, which I'm thinking belonged to you. Well, then the dating is totally wrong on there. So the stamp on the behind doesn't match the date in which it would have been received, but that's the only reason. So we have a preemie here. We have a beanbag baby here who has a very bad uh, case of the measles or the, the Cabbage Patch Kids pox, which we're going to try to fix. So if you have any tips, leave them down in the comment area. Yeah, is, All it, is, over it, her e head. is it easy to take the head off this? Because it seems like it's more covered than the big kids, so if we try yeah. to do this, we have to take the head off, and I don't know, I'm a little leery about <laughs> that. But it's just that her head is getting more and more speckles as we go along. And it wasn't like this is 30 years and then just started speckling. It was like yeah. 10 years in and there's like little black dots which all over. Is, which is why I think it's the talcum powder that they put in there so it would be scented yeah. like powder. And that makes sense because they online, if you look at pictures of the like the bean bag, the my it's the Cabbage Patch Kid babies, uh, a lot of them are speckled. Yeah. And then this one which belonged to one of my uncles one of the boys. Yeah, uh, one Christmas my mom bought two boy dolls and one girl doll and actually I would have rather had the boy doll because they had really cute clothes and I just got the baby which is why she ended up with the baby. But the dating is totally wrong on those because I don't think I was even married. So yeah, so these are the all of our Cabbage Patch Kids from Coleco. Coleco, uh, they went out of business in 80, they filed for bankruptcy in 89. So that was the end of Coleco Cabbage Patch Kids. They were very quickly bought up by Hasbro, one of the many brands to bring a Cabbage Patch Kids to life. All right, we are back. We have the Hasbro years in our collection on the table here. Um, a good mixture of mine and my mother's. Mm -hmm. So Hasbro had the line from like 89 to 94-ish. There's like transitional years. Um, so you may have some that fell between Coleco and Hasbro, and they'll probably be marked differently. But um, for the most part, it was like 88 to 94 that Hasbro had the license. Who knew there were so many different companies that took it over? Seriously. Jeez. So we have a couple different ones here. This is one of the birthday ones. Um, this was one of mine, and then I passed it along to my mother. I tend to get dolls <laughs> that way. <laughs> so I, he came with like a party favor mm -hmm. that you'd blow. Mm -hmm. So then this one is also mine. It's 10th anniversary. Uh, Cabbage Patch Kid has the fabric face. It was released for the 10th anniversary of Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, I got it from my grandfather. So that is how I got that one. Um, and at 10th anniversary, it's perfect because I'm pretty much the same age as Cabbage Patch Kids. So, and then there's also this horse, which we got from Savers. It's a pony. It, it's at crimping, like its hair Crimps. on its mane, you can crimp it. It holds its shape. Yeah. So, I got Can't that from Savers. There. Which was actually a good find. Yeah, pretty good. Um, these guys here, these three, um, this is just a preemie and these are twins. Um, if you watch the Magic Nursery video we did, I mentioned that my brother once, he worked at a, a toy store and when they were all on sale and clearance one day, he brought me a whole bag of dolls. Well, these guys were in that bag. So, those are my guys. And then this one I think I got from you too. I think you did get that yeah. one from me too. But she is cool, orange hair. You know, you can kind of see a difference starting in them. I mean, just the, like her face, it's kind of more plasticky, more not cabbage patchy. I don't know. And they um, definitely got smaller too, I think. Yeah, she is really little. So, yeah, they they shrunk down a little bit. <laughs> so even if this, I don't know, don't know the years for these, but this guy was probably earlier. Mm. Or he was just special. But the, you can see there's a bit of a difference. So we are on to Mattel made Cabbage Patch Kids. They own the brand from 94 to 2001. Um, and they, in their time period, had the 15th anniversary, which we don't have any of those here. It's like every brand that has it had an anniversary somewhere in there. So they own the 15th anniversary, and they were out from 94 to 2001. This is our tiny collection of Mattel-made Cabbage Patch Kids. The majority of them are my mother's. Well, no, I think she was yours. She was mine. This is the first... This was yours, and then you gave it to me, and this is... You gave this one to me. Mm-hmm. 
So this was the first brand, or first company to make them vinyl. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not all of them were, but some yeah. of them were completely vinyl. And she has stencils. Yeah, she was a crafty sort of one. And then this guy must do something. He has a unique sort of tongue thing he going has on. A, his lips are yeah. unique, but he's all plastic. plastic. You can see he's got a blue signature on his butt. Yeah. It's interesting, but I think I prefer the plush ones. Yeah, they're, it's very plasticky. Mm -hmm. She's so just cute. stuffed with nothing in the cabbage. Yes. But the cabbage is adorable. And she stole somebody's rattle, so I have to see whose rattle she stole. And... Day. And then this one was another one my brother gave me on his sale of sales <laughs> in a bag. Um, with everybody on sale. Yeah. She's normal, traditional. Yes. Still tiny, but Very traditional. small. So the next brand to take the mantle to be the big grandmaster of Cabbage Patch Kids was Toys R Us. We have no Toys R Us Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> Zero. Um, they had it from 2001 to 2003. They had the 20th anniversary in their mix there. Um, we, of course, don't have any of them to show you so which means their prices must have been really <laughs> high yeah <laughs> and it's so weird the toys r us would have it anyways it's it's just a strange thing to think that they they owned the brand for three years so 2001 to 2003 we don't have any to show you sorry but we're gonna move along to play along which had it next and we do have a few examples of those so hold on tight we'll be right back Okay, so Play Long comes along and says, we want Cabbage Patch Kids, we're going to take it. They mm -hmm. take it, and from 2003 to 2011, another large time period, they have the brand. They have a couple anniversaries. They have the 25th anniversary in their collection, which is what these two are from. So those are the 25th anniversary dolls. And then there's this guy, this little preemie down there. Yeah, I don't know. I think... It was from my nieces and they had it in a yard sale. <laughs> yeah, but they brought back the size. Like, they're not ridiculously small. And this is the 25th uh, anniversary. These are the 25th anniversary releases. This one's cute, I probably should have kept it. That's okay, you can have it in your collection. You can have her back if you want. <laughs> um, so these are the only examples we have of Play Along. They did have the brand for a couple of years, so there are plenty more examples where this came from. And this one has the beans in the bottom of it again. So we'll see if she gets pops. Yeah, I hope not. So Jack Specific came along. They took the brand from Play Along in 2011 and produced Cabbage Patch Kids through 2015. They had a pretty short tenure of it, um, doing it under five years pretty much. They did have the 30th anniversary in their releases though. Um, so they had a line of like celebration kids that were, you know, celebrating the 30th anniversary and they also released like classic vintage kids, which is what we were talking about that were super expensive and I would always look at them and be like, I like those, but I could never buy Too them. High. My wallet would say no, it's $60, no, it's not no. worth it. No. So I never got any of those, which is why here is all we have from Jack Specific's reign of Cabbage Patch Kids. This is my first CPK lullaby and goodnight CPK. His name is Edwin Irwin, and I don't have any names for any of my other ones, actually, so this is what it does. Can't hear. It's a lullaby doll. It's and then the light low. goes on. <laughs> I might have it on low. I'm not quite sure. They had other Cabbage Patch Kids. A lot of their kids had um, like saran hair, real hair, mm -hmm. not the yarn hair. And this one is completely stuffed. See, you can go look at the light. Some of us need night lights in our room. Cute. Small. Cute. I got it for our Mother's Day or Christmas, I can't remember, but it was one I wanted. I thought, oh, it's so cute, it's a cute, lovable one. <laughs> and she probably knew we'd need one for the video. <laughs> yeah, because I many thought years that later. far. <laughs> we are finally at um, 2015, and since 2015, Wicked Cool Toys 
has been manufacturing Cabbage Patch Kids for the masses. So we don't have that many. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> we don't have that many to show off to you um, today. This one you just saw recently on my channel. I did a review of her as well as some of the smaller other things that the brand is doing with Cabbage Patch Kids. So super cute. They've gone back to being small and they've gone back to being light. And most of them have uh, like real hair versus yarn hair. I'd love yarn hair to come back. And very decal kind of eyes. Very, yeah, yeah. very decal eyes. You can't really see them so much yeah. on hers. But that is, this is one of the kids in the current iteration of uh, Cabbage Patch Kids. With the itty bitty little feet. Teensy weensy little feet. But I do, I mean, I like her hair and she smells of like baby powder. Mm -hmm. So that is her. And then this is a uh, preemie. So this one is also, we got it from Wicked Cool Toys last year for review. Mm -hmm. And the other one we got for review, I think, has gone on to a different home. So this is, these are the only two examples of Wicked Cool Toys. CPK, clearly you can see the majority of our Cabbage Patch Kids come from the early years, the Coleco years, and the uh, Hasbro years, because that's when they were at their, their high point, A, eh? and mm -hmm. I was like the target age for them. Right. So, so I would get them and then, you know, we'd share amongst each other. And we don't so. have an electronic one to show you. No, we don't have mm -hmm. a Baby So Real, a Cabbage Patch Kids So Real. Yeah. One of those very interesting concepts, mm -hmm. but we, we have not had one to test. And they are still very high on the shelf. Very expensive. So one day maybe you'll see one, but for the time being, this is it. So that's Cabbage Patch Kids through the ages. Um, so that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, li seven brands to hold the license. You'll see that a lot mm -hmm. of the things that, I mean, that's kind of amazing. Wow. <laughs> You'll see a lot of things stay the same. Like their, their faces pretty much stayed the same aesthetically. Um, and it's the, for me, the biggest changes have been the bodies and like the size yeah. of them and just the plastics that they use to, yeah. to put them all together. The Coleco is still my favorite. You know, I feel like you have a bond with those cabbage patches that you get like when you're the target age or like when you right. only have a few cabbage patches, mm -hmm. like you can make a bond with them mm -hmm. versus if you just buy every cabbage patch you see. Because she has her own name and it wasn't the name that was, was it the name that was given to her? No. Mm -hmm. No, I think you gave her her name. Well, that would make sense because it's a much better name. Elizabeth Han. Than Go. like <laughs> Susan Schuyler or something. <laughs> like if your name is Susan Schuyler, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's a fine name. But like my point was they were, they don't match. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann matches. They don't roll off the tongue. She was a weird name too. Yeah. I don't even remember. It was so weird. Yeah. And that, yeah. Ethan Allen or something? Ethan Allen. Edwin, Edwin Irwin. Edwin Irwin. Edwin Irwin. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Edwin Irwin. Edwin Irwin. No, I can't do it. <laughs> so that's it. That's Cabbage Patch Kids in a nutshell. Um, obviously, this wasn't a history. Go check out the websites that have all the history of Cabbage Patch. We could have misstated something. There's a lot of history out there and a lot of stuff that is just... It, floating on various websites. It was another, we've got to put some dolls away so while we have them out, let's go talk about them. Yeah, so that's what we did. And let us know in the comment area what your favorite like generation of Cabbage Patch Kids is. Do you have a special Cabbage Patch Kid at home that you um, you know want to share with us in the comment area? Just let us know what you think of all the different changes and why do you think the brand has stayed alive for all so long? Time. So many different hands yeah. stirring the hot, right? Yeah. Um, so let us know in the comment area. I guess we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.